Greetings, programs. This is Wretch, and welcome back to Civilization V. In the last episode, we were um, kind of besieged by barbarians on all sides, and many of our crops got destroyed. Um, but we were able to hold it off. We do have one more barbarian guy, uh, Spearman, in our territory. But we've made some strides. We made quite a few friends here with our city-state neighbors in Malacca and Belgrade. And we're just going to keep going and see how far we're able to get. What I am going to be doing today is we are going to be building up the defense infrastructure a bit. I'm kind of tired of these barbars coming in and running, you know, rampant. So I'm going to... these guys are going to finish what they're building. And... well actually probably not in the case of Goshoot and Team Oak. I'm actually going to have them build uh, warrior units, or not warrior units, but defensive units. And after Mosakane and Akeda finish theirs, they'll be building military units as well. So, right now though, our Pathfinders are going to have to stay the course. So, let's go ahead and next turn. You see our workers here, rebuilding everything that had been destroyed. And I knew I needed to get started getting some more um, military units instead of the, the Pathfinder Scouts, but honestly the Pathfinder Scouts have served me very well, I just don't have enough of them. But I think some archers would be nice. Alright, civilian was captured by Barbars, that doesn't surprise me in the least. Let's go ahead and have Teemo light him up. And our Pathfinders... We'll march up here to save them. Uh, worker's going to go ahead and repair this improvement. We have a unit that is on the verge. Oh, and you're you're nearly dead. You're going to go ahead and haul butt up here to go shoot. And speaking of go shoot, going to get rid of them. Now, let's go ahead and let's look at how much it would cost to build an archer. 15 turns, and they're building a worker right now in 16 turns. Well, how many, actually, how many turns, yeah, 16 turns to finish the worker. So pretty much in the same boat. I think we're going to go ahead and, hmm. Range strength and a strength of five. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and build an archer. Can we purchase that outright? Oh, we can. We may do that, but let's look at the other towns first and foremost. You're almost building a settler in Mosakane. We need to make sure that that stays. Uh, the granary... We can't speed the process up yet. And it's done in eight turns. You know what? We're going to go ahead and let the granary um, be built, and then we're just going to flat out purchase an archer for them. And you guys are almost done with your workers and whatnot, so. Okay. I believe that's everything at the moment. And we're going to be chasing these guys next turn. Yeah, everything looks good. Relatively. Oh yeah, our worker. Completely forgot about this worker. You are going to... Well, let's see, what do we have here? Iron... You're going to move up here to uh, Goshute. And you'll help the infrastructure there. Okay, now we're in good shape. Definitely need to expand the borders a bit. Don't know which direction we should go, though. Because we have Colombo up here. We have nothing but heavy forest here. Don't want to send up north because there's not a lot in the tundra. Ah, okay, excellent. We're going to go ahead and uh, save our mates here. There's only two left, which means our braves... Should be able to take them out quickly. There we go. 
Good job, guys. Now, what else? Do we have a, we do have a plantation there. Let's actually. Where's Mosakane? Ooh. Okay, we forgot that we do have that bit of crop right there. So, our guys, they're going to head here. Pathfinders, I think you're going to sit pretty here in Team Oak. And you're still working. Alright. Now, let's zoom out just a little bit, kind of get some perspective. Next workers. Ah, oh, we can construct a road now. We can always we can start building a uh, road network through the empire. I think would definitely be something that needs done. And those are those are the Venetians, I believe. Ah, Oda completed the Temple of Artemis. Good job, Japan. Now, see if any barbars show up. Nope. A great prophet has been born in the city of Mosakane. I have some information. Very cool. That may be of use. We can found a religion. I think that's what we will do. Okay, we went ahead and built the plantation here. That's good. Now, what to do? Let's go ahead and move up here to this die. We'll probably actually start building the road. But first, we're going to build a plant plantation here with the silk. And you're going to build a farm. The sun shines brightly on our lands. Okay, now what do we do here? We can found a religion. Let's go ahead and found a religion. I have choose a symbol along with its name. Beliefs. After that, you get to choose two additional beliefs for your new religion. A founder belief and a follower belief. That's cool. Let's see what we have here. Ooh, select a religious icon. What do we got here? Taoism. Ten, okay, hold on. Let's see. Buddhism, Catholicism, Confucianism, Hinduism, Islam, Judaism, Eastern Orthodoxy, Protestantism, or <laughs> Protestantism, Shinto, Sikhism, Taoism. Let's go with that one. Looks like the great eagle in the sky. So, we have, let's do a founder belief. Hmm. Papal with city-states following this religion. Oh, okay. Peace-loving. Pilgrimage. A tithe. World Church. You know, let's do... Let's do ceremonial burial. Happiness, which is definitely what we need. And a follower belief. Guruship, holy warriors, monasteries, mosque, peace gardens. Religious art, religious center, a religious community, swords into plowshares, 15 pre Ooh, that's kind of cool. Hmm. I don't know what to do here. Let's do... Let's do peace gardens. That sounds like something the Shoshone would have. Possibly? We're not really a peace garden, you know, but just kind of a um, something to celebrate peace. Because I need happiness, because we are not happy people. Well, I don't know. It looks like we're happy. Actually, we are happy. Hmm. So... Let's do it in that... In that, uh, in that respect, let's do aestheticism. 
Happiness, plus one happiness in cities with three followers and ceremony of burial. That looks good. Yes. And religion has been founded. Groovy. Now, we have our, you know, the, the uh, faith system for the Empire, for those who choose to follow it, of course. Now, we have a Pathfinder here who is almost dead. You are going to fortify until healed. And you are going to cancel your last mission, and you're going to stay right there, and we're going to start a road system. See how long that takes us. Ooh, we got some tundra or blue right along the mountainside there. That's kind of rad. I never noticed that till just now. Alrighty. Let's wait for all of our guys, our neighbors, to uh, do their thing. Okay, so now we will... Cities to your capital. Yeah, we're definitely... Let's build a road. And we did build a plantation there, it looks like. So we're going to go ahead and move there, and they'll start the road that way. Okay, and a Pathfinder. We're... He oh yeah, that's Pathfinder that took out the Barbars. You're going to fortify until healed. And Settlers will be done next turn. Now... We'll need to... Ah, workers done. Or, workers got here. We'll construct a plantation. More dyes, which we have plenty of dye, but... We demand more. What else is in there? Is that... Okay, someone's actively working in there. You can see by the little huts and whatnot. So... We have a plantation there. Do we have people working the, f the citrus farm? Yes, we do. Okay, cool. Just wanting to make sure that all of our uh, all of our um, I's are dotted and T's are crossed. What were we researching before? Construction, which we'll have done in two turns. A new unit from Belgrade. What is that? The city-state of Belgrade has given you a new unit. Oh, how nice of them. Three things are to be looked to in a building. That it stand and we learn construction. That it be securely founded. That it be successfully executed. Allows you to build the composite bowman, a powerful range unit, and the Colosseum. Groovy. So we've got a warrior. Interesting. Let's, uh... Well, a warrior's a warrior. I'm not going to argue with it. A gift's a gift. Alright, you Pathfinders, you guys are going to head this way. Warriors are going to do the same. Settler. Okay, where do you go? Don't want to head down here to the desert. Columbo's over here. I don't know what's over there. I do know that we've cleared a lot of this area out, so you guys are going to head this way to start off. Now let's choose production in town. You are going to... Okay, regular archer's been replaced by a composite bowman. And how much is that going to cost us to just flat out build? 320, okay. Okay. So we can't do that. We're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. You guys are making a worker your next turn. And Team Oak's five-way. You're seven ways from making a regular archer. But, yeah. Okay, you're just going to go ahead and make a regular archer then. Norm we can't build it anymore. But they don't know that. Well, that's very nice of Belgrade. Where are you guys at? Can we, uh... Give a gift here to our friends. 250 gold will earn 20 influence. That is a lot of gold. You know what? Let's let's not do that. We'll just accept the fact that Belgrade gave us uh, goodies and be appreciative of it. 
Now next up, let's go ahead and do mathematics since that's only seven turns. And enemy's been spotted in the territory. Yes, indeed. And Goshute now has two citizens. All right. Ah, good on you. All right, next turn. Now, we can't... We've uh, Our building of the plantation has been interrupted because of uh, the barbars there. So we will move you up here just to get away from it all. And Pathfinders are going to head them off. All right, I believe that was the turn. Let's see where everyone goes. Don't hit, you better not head to my citrus plantation. It's like I've come to that's right at the very edge of dar territory and it keeps on getting plundered. Malaka desires fur. Do we have fur? Oh, you're about to destroy it. Ooh, you. You. All right. Oh, you know what that warrior's going to do? That warrior's going to sit right on that uh on that fruit plantation and not never leave it. You guys aren't going to be on garrison duty. Settler. I'm going to head this way. Now, worker, you're going to construct a road. You are going to also going to build road to ah, can we move this? Nope. I'll tell you what, you just go ahead and build a road. We'll just do this little one at a time, one at a time. And you'll have your worker done in two turns. And you're almost done with your uh, granary. I think that's everyone. Uh, Pantheon has been founded. Good on them. Okay, there's archers as well. Go on. Destroy the plantation. You pricks. Oh, you did it. Makes me a sad panda. Let's go ahead and build keep building the roads. And let's see, warrior. You're gonna keep moving. Pathfinder, you will do the same. I'm outside of my territory, so I don't get that defensive bonus, which kind of sucks, but that's all right. And we'll have our new worker right there in the next turn. Well, we definitely have less uh, destroyed facilities than we did in the last episode, so we got to at least be thankful for small favors. It just costs so many turns to get a good military going, man. Oh, that was rude. Okay, Mosakane is going to fire on these guys. Take out a lot of spearmen. Warriors. Time to come out and play. You guys are going to attack. I'll tell you what, they're scouts, but they're fierce. And here's our worker. We're going to go ahead and start out with a cotton plantation right there. And that's the Pathfinder who is... Oh, okay, our Pathfinder's healed up. Groovy. And we'll actually have him escort the settlers. But first, let's explore this area and see where we actually want our guys to go. Okay, you built your crop. Good. I know where you're going to head. Got to rebuild this plantation. We have no we have no happy people, but we have no unhappy citizens either, so And now you're going to build a composite bowman. It's going to take 19 turns, but oh well. 
two more until the granary's done. Okay. I don't know if we can upgrade units like you could in Civ 4. We are definitely losing gold, though. Unit maintenance, building maintenance, three spent on tile improvement. Hmm. So we need to increase our... Definitely increase our monies. If it's not one problem, it's another. Oh, here come more archers. Oh, no. Oh, well, that didn't work out well for him, did it? <laughs> um, let's go ahead and pump you up to survivalism, too. And you're going to head to Mosakane and regen. Our workers are going to build a plantation there with the cotton. Our road's been built. Excellent. And... Okay, for, let's go ahead and move the settlers. And our workers... Do we already build the road? Yes, we did build the road. Our guys are going to head down here, and you guys move there. So you can... See, now we have a lovely we have a lovely tourist road that people can see Stonehenge on the way out of town. Settlers are going to keep moving. We're a little bit out of the territory, though, which is no bueno. You guys are going to chill right there at the moment. Um... Can we attack these guys in one turn? Oh, we can. Yeah, just slice through them. Good job. And... Yeah. I think we're still out of range of the bow at that point. Okay, still good. I'm going to wait until we lose a little bit more money first before I decide what exactly we are going to do. A unit needs orders. Ooh, our Pathfinder. Okay. Let's... Nothing really over here except dies. Hmm. Desert over here. Yeah, not a whole lot of places for our settlers to go. It's like we're in the middle of, um... Like Russia. You know, all the heavy... A few mountains, a lot of cold, and heavy, heavy forest. That's okay. The Shoshone are hardy people. And we will see if you guys are going to try and unload here. Okay, you guys didn't do much. The world's busiest people. Okay, we're 8th out of 12. That's not good, but, you know, it could be a lot worse. Alright, mighty warriors. Let's wipe these guys out. That's what you get. Now our workers will head here to start repairing this plantation. And our warriors will head back there into the territory. You have accumulated enough culture to adopt a new social policy. Each cost you found... Ooh, patronage. Cause influence with city-states to degrade 25% lo slower than normal. Unlocks the Forbidden Palace. Hmm. Okay, that's kind of cool, but that's mostly city-state stuff. Can't do ide um, ideologies yet. Let's go ahead and finish off Liberty with Representation. And a Golden A. Oh, may select a free great person for your empire. Let's choose Production first and foremost. A composite moment since you guys have finished your uh, deal. You're going to head south and construct another road. You guys will construct a road. And you shall construct a road. Everyone gets a road! Pathfinder will heal up. Now let's choose which kind of great person we want. Um, only unit who can found or enhance a religion. We already did that. A great general. Citadel improvement gives a big defense or defensive bonus to any unit occupying it. Damages any units moving adjacent, and puts all adjacent tiles into your territory. Okay. Great merchant. 
can construct a special custom house improvement which when work produces loads of gold. We need gold right now more than anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go with the great merchant who's been born in Masakane. Okay, must be in a city-state's territory that you're not at war. Oh, conduct a trade mission. Okay. What else can you do? Nothing at the moment. So, Golden Gauge begins, and we now have five citizens in Tiamok. That's why we're not exactly uh, pleased. Anthony Von... Hmm. You're going to chill... Well, hold on. Let's see what it can do. Next turn... Is that it? Yep, next turn. We'll travel. Hello, Barbarian Camp. So, we can go ahead and deal with that, I'm thinking. Now you are our... Okay, that's all the turn. Groovy. We're getting our infrastructure down, guys. Pretty soon we'll have uh, very fast movement through the Empire. Allegedly. Except for um, Agadika, or Agaidika however it's pronounced. But we'll send some workers over there to connect to Road 2, and then we can finish working on our uh, infrastructure. Next up, unit promotion. Who got promoted? Oh, the warrior did. All right, cool. Let's do... We got a lot of forests, so let's do Drill 1. 15% combat strength when fighting in rough terrain, hills, forest, or jungle. And you're going to head back into friendly territory. You're going to repair the plantation. Okay, now what are you going to do? Construct a customs house. We'll connect strategic resources on this tile to the trade network. Ah, okay. That's what, you, that's what that does. Plus four gold. Hmm. You know, I don't want to use him yet. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, we have plus three income. He's going to sleep until we actually need him for something, I'm thinking. So, actually, speaking of commerce, let's go into diplomacy. And we still have a higher score than either Enrico or um, Nobunaga. Let's chat with these guys. Salute. Let's do some trading. We got um, Dai out the wazoo. Silk for ivory. Does that sound good to you, sir? Shikuro, no. Oh, well, fine then. I was trying to be all nice. How about iron for silk? Vubbing. All right. Just want to get some good uh, kind of repart or uh, repartee going. Ooh. Let's go ahead and trade. Okay, we have nothing that they want. Check and see if we can do a uh, joint declaration of friendship. Okay, he's declining. Haven't really had a whole lot of interaction with Japan. Okay, groovy. Let's exit out of that. And mathematics in the next turn. Now, our Pathfinders... Ew. Minor defeat. And you guys aren't anywhere close to... Well, you're kind of close. Hmm. Bonus versus Barbarians, 40%. What is wrong with you guys? Generated by population. Alright. Let's do... Let's actually just search around. Hello. Council Montezuma of the Aztecs. Oh. Revenge! Hi, how you doing? Huh, I have nothing to give him. Shall we ex uh, exchange embassy, sir? 
Very cool. Where are you at? Ah, Techno Tichlan. Which we are right at their uh, border. And looks like they have been attacked by barbarians as well. Well, Sokane is uh, less population than them, but we have less burning things. Okay, Settler. Settler, Settler, Settler. Where do we want to send you? Yeah, it says they said we go ahead and head here to the middle of the tundra because that makes perfect sense, right? But we don't have a whole lot of options. Definitely going to send a unit this way to explore the area near uh, Colombo. I think we'll finish one more turn for the day. And we, our happiness should be good once the plantation is rebuilt for our fruit. The roads are going well. Mathematics is the gate and key to the sciences. Indeed. I'm completely math lexic though. I can't do math to save my life. Let's see. City states territory that you're not at war with. Hmm. I don't really want to do anything with him, so he's just going to sleep. You're still going to not be Ooh, is that the ocean? We may have discovered our first ocean. Now, let's see. Philosophy, drama and poetry, currency, engineering, or ironworking. We have iron in the empire, so we'll choose ironworking. And I think that's good. Well, we have some... Ooh, we still have some barbarians here at the lower um, borders. That's not good. However, we have made a lot of leaps and bounds in uh, improving the Empire's infrastructure. We've repaired a lot of the areas that were pillaged. Uh, we got that warrior there to make sure that citrus farm doesn't get pillaged. And we're starting a system of roads through our territory for quick travel. So, good stuff. I'll go ahead and end, end the video here, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you liked it, go ahead and click like down below. Subscribe to the channel or leave a comment, that'd be a big help, and we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.